good. Also right now, all the spearfish are starting to show up. This springtime and through the summer, we get like a little bit of a phenomenon here off Kona where we get a whole lot of spearfish showing up. Um, Kona's kind of been known as the spot to go if you're after that short bill spearfish. People come here to finish their slams. Um, if that's the species they got left, people come and get them on light tackle records. I know the boys on the Northern Lights just got a record for fly fishing on a short bill spearfish, which is pretty sick. So definitely the place to do so. I also want to talk about um, bullets, which are the pretty much best bait for, for your short bill spearfish. And um, not to mention over here, we're catching a lot of marlin on them. Tuna's just got everything and uh, they kind of comb the ocean. Anyways, we got some cool stuff for you. So thanks for tuning in again. And, uh, So since we're talking a bunch about spearfish on this episode, I thought, uh, you know, it's probably no better time than to talk about bullets and uh, how uh, productive they are for us here. I mean, mainly, you know, not only on spearfish, but on all species. So, um, yeah, Joe, um, tell us a bit about... Okay, so we got a few out here. Um, three of these got flash of boo on them. Uh, that one's just rubber, regular rubber skirt. Got the tantrum, large tantrum bullet. Uh, Koya 9 Plus, two Koya 9 Pluses. And this Niyama Magic Aku. Been super hot lately for, for everybody here in Kona. Um, these 9 Pluses, I've probably caught more Marlin. Uh, definitely had more Marlin bites on that than I would say any other lure I've fished here um, since I've been here in Kona. Uh, but. Um, also a spearfish, um, and um, most of our ahis come off these bullets too. So we're catching pretty much everything that swims out here, eats these things. Um, you don't see them as many other places. Um, I feel like they're starting to catch on a little bit. People are starting to kind of get the idea. A lot of people pull up for tunas. Um, other places, you know, the East Coast, Australia and whatnot, but uh, they're just as good for Marlin. Um, you want these kind of just right on the surface. Making a little splash, uh, black water ripple. Um, but um, I kind of like it when they're just just dragging on top and just just barely kind of skittering underneath the surface. Yeah. Um, so that the black water ripple we're talking about is pretty key to the success of these things. It's basically like you've never seen it before, but if you if you've pulled live baits or like if you've like pulled a bait from a kite, like a live bait, like a goggle eye or something, you know you get that little kind of ripple when you have them right below the surface and they're kicking away. You know you get that little bit of a ripple or like when you get a ballyhoo swimming really good just below the surface and you get that little like, a tail swimming through the water. That's what you want these, um, most of the bullets, like, you, like just saying, they all have a little bit of different action, but generally you want them doing that black water ripple, you know, maybe like a little dish rag and then back down to that black water ripple, um, which is, there's a whole thing to bullets. Like you don't just put them out there like people think, oh, they just swim, like you really gotta adjust those things and 
hook placement, where the coil's coming out of the head. I mean, there's so much to, to just try and get them to run right. But uh, but like you're saying, like we not just tunas and spearfish we catch on these things. I mean, yeah, thing sweeps the ocean. If something's out there swimming. Yeah, it it'll go after that. It's a good last chance thing too. Something comes up on the corner. Lots of times, if they miss that, they're gonna come back and, and smash that bullet on the back end. Uh, a little bit of everything on these things. Yeah. So it'd be cool to see a lot more guys trying to pull these things in different areas. I know some guys won't pull them because they think they only work on tunas or oh they don't work on the east coast or they don't work in costa rica or whatever but um just get one and 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 try it out and get it to run right um and give it a good go, a go, good couple goes because i can guarantee you that thing's gonna get smashed marlin everything you're in the east coast white marlin would probably love these things sailfish eat them the smaller ones i mean yeah yeah, for numbers of bites, those are the ones for sure. You gotta pretty much fight me to get that out of the spread. Yeah. So, this one right here, that tantrum either way. Pretty one. much. One thing to be noted too, if you're, if you're gonna use flashaboo, you cannot use double hooks. You're gonna have a tangled mess. But I wouldn't even recommend using double hooks on these things. I would go single hook far, as far back in the skirt, legally possible. Single hook, up, up, right? Because it's gonna turn the way that that hook's facing and then having your coil coming up out of the head. Um, yeah, and put it out. And then not just on the stinger too, you could run one on the long rigger. In the winter, we run one on the short rigger, long rigger, and the stinger, you know, so you, any position, just yeah. getting them to run right. And uh, Certain times here, you could probably run all five. Yeah, you, yeah, go for sure. Right. But but um, spearfish candy, for sure. And I'm telling you, get a couple bullets and just try them out. You will be, You'll be impressed. Thing, I mean, yeah.